I'm not depressed or suicidal, but I understand what it means to be overwhelmed by those dark emotions. The last thing anybody in such situation wants to hear is that they are not Christian enough. That's why they are depressed. Depression may be evil quite alright, but it's not something that vanishes with positive thinking. It takes someone deeply rooted in spiritual things with a firm understanding of faith and a clear understanding of their identity in Christ to break free from a mental illness purely based on spiritual recommendations. My friend Lamaka once encouraged me with an example in Elijah upon how powerful he was and how mightily God used him. He still felt despondent. Even Jesus Christ felt overwhelmed at some point. It doesn't make sense to deny these things in the name of spirituality. I know there are people that feel like depression is overstated and exaggerated, but it's a wildfire that keeps spreading and it's sad the amount of people battling with it but afraid to open up because they do not want to be judged. They don't want to be seen as lacking in faith or that they don't know how to pray and fast or exercise joy. Don't get me wrong, I'm not even trying to make an excuse for the enemy and his devices. I'm just saying there's a better way to be salt and light than sort of condemnation and gaslighting. If you see someone on a sick bed on life support and all, you won't just go and be like, I hate the first person to have cancer, smart in your life support, don't you need to have the before they sick. They don't want to be there as well, so when someone is mentally ill, give them the same grace. I mean, pray, speak words of life, but don't be that person that puts down an already despondent believer. And dear believer, finding it hard to walk in joy. Life is like a roller coaster, it's full of ups and downs. We all have to ride it, but we do not have to be dominated by it. We can learn to ride it with a lot more spiritual, mental, and emotional stability, regardless of whether we're in the valleys, on the ground, or on the mountains. So keep hope alive, okay? Peace.